Today, we're going to be covering the law of large numbers and how we can apply it in Python with the help of NumPy as well as matplotlib. We're going to be taking a look at two different examples. The first being a coin flip and the other one, well, that is going to be the average data science salary here in the United States. We have a ton to cover, but before we do jump into the coding side of things, I want to go over a little bit more information about the law of large numbers. All right, so here's a little bit more information on the law of large numbers. So essentially the law of large numbers shows that while individual outcomes are uncertain, the average of a large number of outcomes tends to be predictable and close to expected value. Uh, this is also known as convergence. So there's three steps to it, right? Number one is perform the experiments many times as you perform more experiments, right? You're gonna be able to get a more predictable result over the run. The experiment averages will reach the true averages as increase the number of trials. And three, observed probability goes to the theoretical probability. So some examples, right? Flipping a coin. Now, flipping a coin should be 50-50, right? Between heads and tails. Let's say you flip it three times, right? And it's heads, heads, heads. Well, since you only have three different times you've taken a look at it, right? It's not a, it's not a large sample size. But if you flip a thousand times, right? You might get closer to 500 heads, 500 tails. Now, this is a Bernoulli distribution. And we're also gonna take a look at a normal distribution, right? So think about data salary, data science salaries in the United States. Now, I don't know what the average data science salary is. So let's say it's like 120 or $130,000. Some people are gonna make a lot more than that. Some people are gonna make a lot less than it. But over time, you'll get in, in that average area of whether it's 120 or 130. And you see this graph uh, to the right, which I showed number of trials, cumulative mean. And uh, this is the example that we're gonna be building out with flipping a coin. We're actually gonna build out two of these in uh, some Python code. So with this background out of the way, let's start coding. All right, so let's start, let's bring in a few imports. So import numpy as np, and then we're gonna also import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Okay. And our dependencies are added. So our first example, so example one, we're gonna take a look at a Bernoulli distribution and we're going to take a look at the classic case of a coin flip. Now, I do apologize. I don't have Bernoulli distribution video yet on the channel. I will in the near future. It's on my video recording backlog. Um, but it's slightly different than the binomial distribution. Uh, what we're going to be taking a look at is heads or tails for each single case of a coin flip. And we're going to look at 10,000 coin flips in general. Okay. Um, let's build this out. So... While we're going to start this is we're going to say np.random seed and we're going to put in 15. That's what I put in my example code. Sometimes I don't do that and I apologize if you guys get a little bit different results. Now we need to set our trials. So we're going to have n trials and each trial again is one single coin flip. This is why um, this is a Bernoulli distribution instead of a binomial distribution. So understand that. So n trials we're going to put over here. We're going to have 10,000 trials. And now what we can do is we can simulate the coin flips. So we'll say is coin flips over here. We're gonna say that's equal to np.random.randint, so rand int. And we're gonna have a random int between zero and one. So that's why you put zero comma two. And then our size is gonna be the n trials. So size equals n trials. And awesome, we have our coin flips now over here. Let's just take a look at what these coin flips look like. So we'll say print, pass in our coin flips over here. And you can see zero, one, zero. So our first one, let's say zero is tails, one is heads, right? So tails, heads, tails, and it goes on at the very end, right? Tails, tails, heads. And again, we're gonna be plotting, so don't worry about this too much. But before we do plot, we have to calculate our cumulative mean, and that's gonna be our mean over time. Now. Doing a coin flip, you expect a, a about 0 0.5 mean, right? Half the time should be heads, half the time it should be tails. So let's calculate that. We'll say cumulative mean, cumulative mean equals NP dot cumulative sum. So sum like that. We'll pass in first our coin flips like this, coin flips. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide by, and we'll have NP dot arrange. And inside over here, we'll have one, and then we'll have n 
trials plus one. And that is gonna be our cumulative mean. And just to print this out, just to show you, right? We should have a zero mean, then 0 0.5, and then like 0 0.3. Uh, we'll print this out. And towards the end, we should have close to 0 0.5, right? So 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and again, close, right? 0 0.4993. But let's plot this and see, essentially, over the 10,000 trials, what ends up happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to use matplotlib for that. So first thing, plt.figure, and we'll pass in our fig size. So fig size equals of 10, and we'll have 6. Then up next, we'll say plt.plot. Then we'll pass in our cumulative mean, which we already calculated above, right? Again, our cumulative mean will go across all 10,000. And then we'll say label equals cumulative mean. So cumulative mean. And then what we'll have next is a line that goes across our graph. And this line is essentially going to be the mean that we expect. In this example, we expect 0 0.5. So we can just do plt.axh line. We'll say y equals 0 0.5. We'll say color equals r. We'll have our line style. So line style equals, and we'll do dash dash. And then over here, we'll say label equals expected value 0 0.5. Awesome. Now, what we'll do over here is plot our X label and Y label. So plt dot X label. And then I'm just going to copy this, right? And I'll do the same for Y and just change that up. That way I don't have to do much coding on that side of things. Save some time. We'll have a number of trials as our X. And then our Y is going to be our cumulative mean. So cumulative mean. Okay, awesome. And then uh, let's we'll set our title. So plt dot title. And we'll say law of large numbers coin flips, law of large numbers coin flips. And then lastly, what we're gonna do is set our legend, so plt.legend, and we can plot this. So plt.show, plt.show, and let's take a look. So assuming I have no errors in my code, which sometimes does happen, uh, and we do have an error, what is my error misspelled line style? Look at that. Always love my errors while coding on here. But yeah, here we go. So you can see zero, right? Then we go up to 0 0.33. Then we go up over here, almost up 0 0.7. Then we decrease for a while. Then uh, we get a lot of heads for a while, right? Heads are outperforming tails. Someone over here up through, uh, where's that? Almost 2,000 trials might think that this coin is not fair, but you can see over time, right, this continues to decrease. And, uh, right, we average out at 0 0.5. That's crazy how long it was above 0 0.5 on the heads side of things. But you can see, again, this is why we took a look at 10,000 specific trials for this coin. It shows 0 0.5, uh, so, right, as expected. So what I want to do now is I want to flip this, and I want to take a look at data science salaries, as I kind of hinted towards that slide deck. So example two is data science salaries. And I'm gonna make a few assumptions on here. So salaries, my assumptions, right? First, I'm gonna say this is normal distributed. So normal distribution. I'm also gonna assume that the average salary is about 120,000. Could be higher, could be lower. I know data science salaries are very regionalized. So uh, someone in Florida is gonna make a lot less than someone in California. That's just how it is right now. Maybe that changes over in the long term. But regardless, I'll say it's 120,000 and we'll build off of this. And again, we're using we're looking at samples as well rather than specific trials. All right, so what we're gonna say is n samples equals, and we'll have 10,000 in and over here. I'm good with that 10,000 number. And let's set up our average. Our average is gonna be mu. So we'll say that equals 120, as I mentioned. And then lastly, let's build out our standard deviation, which is our sigma, let's say $30,000. So 30,000 over here. And now what we're gonna do is create our salary. So salaries equals np.random.normal, then pass in mu, pass in sigma, pass in your n samples. That's, and then what we can do is print out our salaries. So print our salaries like that. You can see 86,092, then we jump to 123, then at the very end we have 140, 154. Man, they're getting paid pretty well. 
And then look at that 78,000, which is our lowest out of the ones that are shown over here. So let's see how close we get to, uh, you know, 120 when we take a look at the cumulative mean. So what we can do is set up our cumulative, cumulative mean salaries. So mean salaries equals NP dot cumulative sum, then pass in our salaries. Then we're gonna divide and over here, we'll NP dot arrange, we'll say one N samples plus one, All right? And what we'll take a look at the very end is printing out our cumulative, I mean, it's salaries. Okay, and now let's take a look at our cumulative mean salaries and see if they make sense. So our first one right over here is 86,557. Well, our first one over here is 86,557. We only take a look at one sample, right? So this works. Now let's take a look at the next one, 89. Well, we have 86,5 and 92. Well, 86 and 92, the middle is 89. So I assume that is gonna math out correctly. And then we look at 120. So I sum up all three of these, right? We divide by three. Uh, again, we do n samples plus one, as I showed you above, right? With NP range, we stop at the other number, so that's why we have to go through ten thousand. Yeah, that makes sense. We're at we're at hundred and thousand. So what we can do now is plot this. And honestly, what I'm gonna do because I don't want to code all of this out again, I'm gonna copy this code and we're gonna change it together. So fig size, I'm good with that, right? And then we'll say cumulative mean salary this time on here, right? We'll change it up a little bit. A uh, Y is not gonna be 0 0.5. It's actually gonna be our Mu value. You could also put in 120,000 if you wanted to. Good with that color, good with line sal. And we'll say expected salary. We'll put 120 like that. Not 120, that's some horrible number. 120, right? And then our X label here, we'll have number of samples because we're sampling, we're not grabbing trials. Then cumulative mean salary. So salary like that, law of large numbers, normal distribution, DS salaries, legend and show. And let's see if this works properly. There we go. Uh, no, it did not work properly. Uh, you can see number of samples zero. And the reason why it did not work is I just grabbed cumulative mean when I meant to say cumulative mean salaries. And now it should work. Look at that. There we go. So. We have that first example, right? Which we go over here, 86.5. And then over time, we go up to almost 130,000 as the average. Let's say it's like 128. Then we go down below this 120 threshold. We're above it for a while. And you can see it, it just continues to slowly decrease, a little bit of rise and slowly decreases. And at the very end, right, our last cumulative mean is 122.42. Uh, so again, as we got more samples on here, this uh, mean averaged around 120,000. If you looked at a, a different number of samples, right? Like let's say you looked right over here. Like let's say again, 2000 samples, right? Your mean is gonna be over 120. It might be 123 or 124. But since we take a look at a lot more, it goes down to 120,000. Again, showing you law of large numbers. In the beginning when we have a, not enough trials or samples, uh, you can see that this mean or our expected value average rate is gonna be all over the place. But as we add on more samples or more trials, we get what is kind of expected. So that is the law of large numbers. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found some value from it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. One of our goals is to reach 100,000 subscribers in 2025. Only way we're gonna do that is by uploading three to four videos every single week focused on data science. Now, if you wanna watch even more statistics videos, I have a few linked down below in the description and a playlist that you can check out right over here.